Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager, Ed Martin, Toyota, Noblesville, Indiana. I want to take a minute and show you about a custom, uh, triple locked, re-geared, uh, lifted 200 series Land Cruiser project that we've been working on for a few months. It's all done now and it's getting ready to go home. And I want to take a minute and just kind of show the world on what uh, what a Land Cruiser should look like. So we'll start by looking at the um, at the at the front grill. Uh, we have uh, the, co the chrome delete. Instead of using black, we decided to use the color matched Toyota 1G3 magnetic gray metallic paint, as well as the lower fog surrounds and the lower door moldings, as well as various other pieces around the car, which we'll get to. Um, we've also wrapped this entire vehicle in Expel paint protection film, and that includes the grill. So there's a 10 millimeter layer of plastic on the entire vehicle with self-healing characteristics. So once it gets to 140 degrees, any kind of micro scratch or dent from a bug or rock would get, uh, will go away. We have a uh, trail tailor uh, hidden winch mount <clears throat> right here. We have a Factor 55 Fairlead and a Factor 55 um, Ultra Hook, as well as a rope guard. We're using the Warren Xeon 12S Platinum uh, synthetic rope wireless control winch. And then as we walk around the vehicle, um, sus uh, suspension, <clears throat> we're using the Old Man Emu BP51, set at two inches, SPC upper control arms. And we are using the 2722 springs in the rear with airbag man uh, and in coil airbags. Tires are the 2020 uh, Tundra TRD Pro BBS forged aluminum wheel. Um, tires or the wheels are wrapped in a BFG KO2 LT305 65 18 e-load tire. You'll notice that we have the SLEE LC200 rock sliders and they are illuminated with rock lights. As you can see, we got the bud built stage four aluminum um, overland armor, powder coated in black underneath here as well. There's the lower door moldings color coded. Windows are tinted with um, Expel ceramic window tint, 20% uh, in the front and 85% in the rear. And just notice here's kind of a nice look at the paint protection film. On top we have a front runner slim line to refract. And I'll walk around the car and show you how the lights are set up on that. We're also using, um, we, we deleted the, um, the reflector in the rear, replaced it with a rigid um, D-series diffused light. <clears throat> and, uh, and that's wired to the reverse light. Land Cruiser uh, Heritage Retro badging on the D-pillar. On the back here, we have the Land Cruiser uh, logo is grayed out as well as the pieces along the, that are, that follow underneath of the lights. Toyota logo is black, as well as the V8 logo on the tailgate. Also have a rigid uh, 40 inch midnight edition, uh, 40 inch light bar up on the rear. We custom fabricated um, brackets uh, right here, just because the ones that front runner supplies will hit the tailgate. <clears throat> We have um, the ARB drawers. They're both uh, roller top on both sides. Um, on the right side, um, we have a um, power inverter. It's a 1000 watt Sam Wax PST 1012 uh, inverter. It's mounted to the drawer with a board wrapped in automotive grade carpet. All the wires ran through loom. We have the um, we have the inverter uh, on switch with a Hellmarine uh, glow ring switch. We've added a couple of USB ports here. One of them right here is charging the um, worn uh, wireless remote. Um, we've added the AC power outlet from the inverter right here. Uh, we use a Blue C OLED voltmeter, an extra 12 volt outlet here, two USBs. Also, on the left side, we have a couple more USBs. 
5 volt, the 4.8 amp USBs, as well as another 12 volt socket. <clears throat> we have a drawer light. We have uh, a red and white combo. Also, the additional outlets for the inverter and the auxiliary battery are located right here underneath of the, uh, the second row climate control functions. We have uh, the AC outlet as well as the uh, additional USB ports. Four total back here. One, two, three, four, and then two additional 12 volt sockets along with AC in the middle. Beautiful terracotta leather interior. The scene lights <clears throat> are the rigid uh, amber scene lights mounted directly to the front runner slim line to roof rack. They are switched with a left right option from the inside on the Switch Pro, which I'll show you in just a minute. There's the wiring. And then we also added um, an additional uh, Zamp solar outlet right there as well. And there's also another one down by the hitch receiver area for a suitcase or a blanket solar panel. Let's get in the car, check out a couple buttons, and then let's take a look under the hood and be done. This car's got 629 miles. Uh, we re-geared it with Nitro 430 gears and then uh, drove it for 500 miles for a break-in and then change the diff oil. So switching, we have, turn that dinger off. So we have um, a Switch Pro 9100 up here. And then we have um, onboard air. We have the rock lights underneath if you wanted to override them to be on, so you're on a trail at night. We have left and right side for the um, uh, scene lights. And then we also have the front and rear light bars. And then we have the front and rear e-lockers. And of course, comes with a factory center locker. The airbags are controlled through um, an airlift uh, wireless um, controller. Right now they're set at 15 PSI. If I want to bleed down to as low as five, just basically set it to whatever you want and the car will just uh, bleed down. It's super quiet. And then also likewise, if you wanted to uh, increase the, the lift in the rear, just basically set it to whatever your desire it is, let go, and it takes a second and it'll turn on. Also, there's the compressor turning on for the, for the, rear, uh, the rear airbags. And then we have a, um, a Red Arc uh, trailer brake controller right here. And then we also have the auxiliary fuel tank. It's a 12.5 gallon long range uh, fuel tank uh, with an upgraded um, fuel pump for faster for faster transfer. And then we also have an auxiliary battery, uh, smart battery, battery isolator, auxiliary um, jump mechanism so that you can jump the uh, crank battery with the aux battery by hitting that button right there. <clears throat> Let's take a look under the hood. So, we have, again, rigid 40 inch on the front as well. And then we have underneath the hood, we have the hood lights. <clears throat> um, we have those in white and red. Red is top, white is bottom, middle is off. We also have a little trigger override right here so that if you accidentally leave the lights on and you shut the hood, Gonna turn off automatically. Um, so we have a dual battery set up here. This is our advanced setup. So we have a post here where we're rewiring the crank battery, which would normally be a lead acid crank battery in this location. Instead, we've bought the Slee uh, Group 35 auxiliary battery tray and we've put the crank battery in that location. Um, we have chosen a red top Optima. Um, there, the batteries are connected with a, um, a DC DC. In this case, we're using the Red Arc BC DC 1240D. Uh, mounted to the auxiliary battery tray through a custom bracket. And then over here in the lead acid crank battery location, we have 
uh, relocated the aux battery, uh, we went with a yellow top Optima, as you can see. Um, custom brackets for all the fuses on top. <clears throat> um, and then, so we have the Red Arc 40 here, 40 amps, as well as uh, right here, we have the Switch Pro, um, 125 amps, 200 amps for the smart battery, the Red Arc smart battery isolator, uh, 240s for the, the twin air compressor and then relay. We have um, the ARB twin air compressor. <clears throat> um, you'll notice that there's a valve, valve right here. That's so that we can send air to the back for the airbags. And then if you don't want that for, say you're using the full load of the compressor, you can just twist that um, perpendicular and then um, have all the power going directly to your main nozzle. Um, underneath of the, of the compressor, we are using a SLE um, tray um, uh, twin air compressor uh, tray underneath there, and it's hard to see, but you can kind of see the red worn W underneath of it. That's the um, the solenoid for the for the um, relocation of the winch solenoid. So that is our dual battery setup. Um, the smart battery isolator is located right there. It looks like an oil filter and, um, to the right of the horn, and that is the device that lets you jump the battery. So if your crank battery is dead, then you can jump it off the aux battery by pressing that button that I showed you a minute ago on the inside. That is a custom 200 series Land Cruiser. If you like it, please give us a, thumb, a thumbs up and subscribe. Again, my name is Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. And if you need anything 200 series related, parts or vehicle, please give me a call at 317-385-9572.